Hello friends, hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel NoAttack videos and this is the series of Windows Server 2022 and in today's discussion we will discuss about how we can migrate the DSCP role from one server to other server. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I have two servers, so this is DC1 and one more ser server I have, this is DC2 and I have one client machine that is Windows 10. So currently in my scenario, the DSCP role that is installed on DC1 and due to some reason, I want to migrate this role, DSCP role from DC1 to DC2. So let's check it out on the role is working fine or not. DSCP services, everything is healthy as we see. IPv4 and I have one scope and that is home network and address leases. So these are two IP addresses which are leased for the client. And let's go to the client and check the DSCP server as well open the command prompt and then validate the DSCP server the command is IP config slash all and here you can see the DSCP server that is 10.98132.10 and let's determine the IP address of this machine PCON FIG. So as you see, this is the IP address of DSCP server. So it means the DSCP IPs are getting assigned to client from this DSCP server. And our agenda is to transfer this role from DC1 to DC2. So at first, we have to open the PowerShell with admin then we will do the backup by running the command and the command is export port DSCP DHCP server then file and I will create a file under this stamp let me name it DSCP. Let's copy this path. Okay, and file name. Name must be DHCP data dot XML then leash then I want to force it okay and then I have to give computer name so what's my computer name this is tc1 dot sorry noah hyphen tag videos.com then verbos okay so this file will help to export the dscp server configuration file in xml format let's execute this there is some typo uh, in leech okay so this one yes and let's try now yes export is started now and it will take some time and depend on the data but I have only one scope so it should be quick okay so my word another typo it's domain name 
T-C-H-V-I-D-E-O-S okay yes so backup is completed now let's validate the backup once okay I had created this file uh, folder and under this this file is created now what we will do on this server we will start stop the services DSCP services services.msc so when you are doing this in production so make sure you have the downtime and the leech time is not getting expired for all the machines so we have to validate that but since this is my demo environment oh, there is no issue okay I'll stop the services okay DCP server service is now in stop mode now we will go to another server and log on to this server okay so let's validate first there is no DSCP role installed so we can install either by adding the roles here also through PowerShell so let's do it through PowerShell now okay and the command is install install windows windows feature then feature name is dhcp and include management tools so this way it will install the dhcp role on this server and then we will import the xml file okay so the role is getting installed until then we will copy the backup file from dc1 to dc1 and then c drive okay so c drive c dollar and go to temp and here we go dscp let's copy this entire file and we will save it and the c drive let's create the folder temp and we will copy the backup file here so meanwhile the role is installed let's validate the role is installed or not yes we can see the role is installed now okay and now we have to import the file as we can see there is nothing the server is not authorized so so this time we will import the backup so the command would be import import dscp server then file and the file path is dscp and this is the file okay and then we will also do the backup here so that we can save the existing uh, DSCP configuration data so it's backup path backup path okay let's do it on C drive C colon and then 
temp that's fine then we will do scope overwriting overwrite and then we will force this process force and then computer name and this time we will use this computer name dc2 dot nova dot nova hyphen tag videos dot com then what was okay so for the command is completed now and that's executed okay it's copying all the data and operation that is succeeded import operation on server so and so that is completed now let's open the dscp server role here and before that we will verify the services the service for dscp is running dot msc go to dscp server and yes this is running now let's close and reopen A DSCP role, okay. Plugin, let's make it so under IPv4 scope. We can see one subnet, uh, sorry, scope is added, and there is nothing leased. And the pool is this one, so we will authorize the server this server now, okay. And refresh, give it some time. refresh okay it turn into the green and let's see so there is no address leases so far so to validate this whether this is working or not and this is my client machine i'll log into this client machine and and clear the screen and we will try uh, let's validate any IPs there or not okay so this is previously assigned let's renew okay so it will renew the IP address and then we will check the DSCP server from which server the IP is assigned so the lead is renewed now and we will check the IP address again slash solve and let's validate the DSCP server so this is the DSCP server and here we can see the lead this leech is assigned this is the new leech okay so for troubleshooting perspective if the IP addresses are not getting assigned to the client machines so we can disable enable the network also from here we can restart the services just click on the server and uh, then right click and then all tasks and restart so this is how we can transfer uh, the DSCP role from one server to another server so that's it in this video let's catch up in the next video thanks for watching